This video provides a summary for the Estiva on how to power on, perform a checkout, setting up and starting a case, and ending a case. Please refer to the user's manual for more information on how to operate this equipment. I'm Lisa Nolan, Global Education Leader with GE Healthcare. Before you power on the Estiva, connect the gas supply hoses to the wall gas source or turn on the gas cylinders. Plug the power cord into an electrical outlet. Make sure the system circuit breaker located on the upper back panel is in the on position. The AC indicator on the bottom left corner of the display unit should be on. To turn on the system, move the switch from left to right to power on. The machine may take up to 15 seconds for the display screen to turn on. Power should be cycled once every 24 hours. Complete a daily checkout as described in the machine user's manual. Verify backup ventilation equipment is available and functioning. Check oxygen cylinder supply. Open the O2 cylinder and verify that it's at least half full, about 1,000 PSI. Close the cylinder. Check your central pipeline supplies. Check that the pipeline hoses are connected and pipeline gauges read about 50 PSI. Check your initial status of the low pressure system. Close flow control valves and turn your vaporizers off. Check the fill level and tighten vaporizers filler caps. Perform a leak check of the machine's low pressure system. Verify that the machine master switch and flow control valves are off. Attach the suction bulb to the auxiliary common gas outlet. To access the auxiliary common gas outlet, move the lever on the left side of the gas outlet into the on position. Squeeze the bulb repeatedly until fully collapsed. Verify the bulb stays fully collapsed for at least 10 seconds. Open one vaporizer at a time and squeeze the bulb repeatedly until fully collapsed. Verify the bulb stays fully collapsed for at least 10 seconds. Repeat for every additional vaporizer. Remove the suction bulb and move the lever up to the off position. Turn on the machine master switch and all necessary electrical equipment. Test your flow meters. Adjust the flow of all gases through their full range, checking for smooth operation of floats and undamaged flow tubes. Attempt to create a hypoxic oxygen nitrous mixture and verify correct changes in flow and or alarm. Adjust and check the scavenging system. Calibrate your O2 monitor. Ensure the monitor reads 21% in room air. To calibrate, select menu, scroll to calibration, Select O2 sensor. Select 21% and follow the on-screen instructions. Select Start Calibration. It can take up to three minutes for a 21% calibration to complete. Reinstall the sensor in the circuit and flush the breathing system with O2. 
verify that the monitor now reads greater than 90%. Check the initial status of the breathing system. Set the selector switch to bag mode. Check that the breathing circuit is complete, undamaged, and free of obstruction. Verify that the CO2 absorbent is adequate. Install breathing circuit accessories. Perform a leak check of the breathing system. Set all gas flows to zero. Close the APL valve and occlude the Y piece. Use the occluder port underneath the handle. Pressurize the breathing system to about 30 centimeters of water pressure with the O2 flush. Ensure that the pressure remains fixed for at least 10 seconds. Open the APL valve and ensure that the pressure decreases. Test ventilation systems and unidirectional valves. Place a second breathing bag on the Y piece. Set ventilator parameters to a tidal volume of 400, a respiratory rate of 12, an ITE ratio of 1 to 2, a pressure limit of 40, and your PEEP to OFF. Turn on the ventilator. Move the bag to vent switch to the vent position. Fill the bellows and the breathing bag with O2. Set your O2 flow to minimum and other gas flows to zero. Verify that during inspiration, the bellows delivers appropriate tidal volume and that during expiration, the bellows fills completely. Set your fresh gas flow to about five liters per minute. Verify that the ventilator bellows and simulated lungs fill and empty appropriately without sustained pressure at end expiration. Check for proper action of the unidirectional valves. Move the bag to vent switch to bag mode. Ventilate manually and assure inflation and deflation of the artificial lungs and appropriate feel of the system, resistance and compliance. Remove the second breathing bag from the Y piece. To change the flow rate, adjust the air and oxygen flow knobs. The flows can be monitored from their respective flow tubes on the front of the machine. A gear linkage system on the nitrous oxide and oxygen flow controls helps to keep the oxygen concentration higher than approximately 21% at the fresh gas outlet. When starting a case, always ensure gases are flowing. Anesthesia devices are not automatically configured to begin mechanical ventilation when a case is started. The devices are configured for both manual ventilation, often referred to as bag mode, and mechanical ventilation. When the device is in bag mode, the device is not providing any ventilation support to the patient. When the device is in manual ventilation, maximum pressure is managed by the adjustable pressure limit, or APL valve. If ventilating the patient manually, ensure the APL pressure limit is appropriate for the patient. A case can be started by switching the bag to vent switch to vent mode. Before starting a case, verify the settings are clinically appropriate. Ventilation will begin at the previously configured default setting. To change the vent mode, select the menu key and select the appropriate ventilation mode by pressing in the comm wheel. Set the tidal volume or inspiratory pressure using the comm wheel and confirm by pressing the hard key or by pressing in the comm wheel. To change the ventilator settings, press the hard key for the ventilation setting to be adjusted. Use the comm wheel to adjust the desired value and press the hard key or press in the comm wheel to confirm. To change alarm limits, press the menu key. Scroll to alarm settings and press the comm wheel to open the alarm settings menu. 
Make sure that the alarm limits are appropriate for the patient before starting ventilation. Scroll to O2, minute volume or tidal volume alarm limits to change. Press the comm wheel, adjust the setting, and press the comm wheel to confirm. Press the menu key to go back to the main menu. Move the bag to vent switch to bag mode. Press the end case key on the left side of the display. Press the comm wheel to confirm. Turn off gas flows.